Um, no, let's restart. Let's get serious. <laughs> My grandma's gonna see this. We're the bad news. We're the young guns. We're the ones that they told you to run from. Yeah, the player's gonna play and a hater's gonna hate and a regulator's born to regulate when it hits the fan. <clears throat> well, here we are, folks. We're just skinning out Jesse's cat from earlier today. I'm uh, making a few cuts uh, down the hind leg here, both sides, all the way to the butt, and then skin down the tail. Uh, do that on the front as well. Probably gonna get a full body mount on this big guy one day, but uh, just do them up for now and, and uh, stay tuned. Hopefully, you can learn a thing or two today. Hopefully, I don't mess up. What are you doing, Scotty? Just bottling some piss here, maybe. I don't know. If we can, <clears throat> put her in a scrape. These cats kind of scrape similar spots once in a while. We had a trail camera up this year, the start of December when it wasn't snowing. <clears throat> and uh, the day after I took it down, a cat walked by there and we tried chasing it. We never caught him, but uh, he was around, so it'd be neat to see. Maybe sent it up a bit see what happens maybe put a weight underneath the end of that bottle so when it gets decently full it doesn't just tip over well hey folks we're just <coughs> skinning on a cattail here I uh, split her down the middle there and start working around you can see there's quite a bit of fat on the tail and I don't know if it's bullshit or not but uh, he heard the cats store some of their fat supply in their tail and you can judge how good shape they're in from there so I'm guessing this guy's in pretty good shape as you can see lots of fat but like I say it's that ain't uh, gospel could be bullshit <clears throat> we're just at the tip of the tail here um, it's a little frozen but you can usually pull it off here pretty soon uh, if your dog isn't in the way but uh, hey oh <clears throat> kind of got to be careful you don't want to pull this hair off if you can help it obviously Jess you want to hold this one, can you put your elbow on that for a second eh? Bingo. Where do you leave the nuts? You leave it on the on the belly side still? Um. Yeah, I guess I would I'll just go down one side, leave them on so they can sex it when we go to register it here in a few days. Well, what you want to do here on the front legs? Start here, right at the middle of the pad. Go right down on the inside, right down to the elbow. From the elbow right to the armpit, across the chest. Same from this leg, right down to the elbow. Connect the connect the dots. Then you want to center up in the chest and go right down the belly, right to Scott collecting urine. So there's a thin layer of sinew right here. We like to take that off. Keep it as clean as you can. BC in one whip. You just skin the hide back as far as you can on this dew claw. And then you're going to want to pop the joint, and then the same thing, you'll keep skinning under the pad and around. And then when I get there, I'll show you how I bend it over and pop the rest of them off. Yeah, like the knuckle, and then you just so that do claws off. We'll keep skinning around and bring you guys back in for the finish. I'll choke down on that a little bit. Pour that out. 
Turn that if you can. And uh, make a couple cuts here. And you just start working across. You roll that hide inside out. Make sure that dew claws out of the way. And just start working down the fingers. Yeah, just keep working around the toes. Be sure to not cut the hide. You gotta keep kind of working the pad as you go. It kind of holds you up sometimes. In between the toes. Alright, right here you can feel there's the claw right in there. This is the joint, the second joint. Here's the first joint, second joint. I want to reach in and pop that third joint right there. You can see I got it. And take your knife, work around the edge. You gotta be careful you don't cut yourself. And right there, got her pretty much licked. Go real easy right there. And that's one done right. Finish it off, get through the tendon. Lucas's dad knows what this is all about. <laughs> Cutting fingers off. Come along to the next one, work the end of it, kind of get as deep in as you can there. You'll feel the claws right there. You reach in, push with this hand on the inside, push the finger or the toe out, and you find that joint right there. Yeah. Pop that. Sometimes if you want to put a little cut right in between the thing, just give it a little pull and cut as you go. Ow. Cut myself. But anyway, here we are. Um, you saw Nate on the front paws, he just skinned out uh, all the way to the claw while well, it was still on the animal, but we're going to take it off at the joint here. I already did it on this side, but going to miss that. And then we'll take the paws out after. Fold this background over itself here in a bit, but we'll get the rest of it skinned out first. Leave it. What are you doing here, Nate? I uh, just did the one arm cut and the other, and now I'm just gonna connect across the chest, and then when we're ready, we'll go down the middle. A little frozen. So, Jordy. line there right across the chest then you'll go right down and you'll start folding this back well now we're gonna make the belly cut here keep her nice and straight zip down I prefer zigzags zigzags are good too but we'll zip down stay on one side of his junk there and down to my cut here hopefully hopefully we won't poke the belly make a stink That easy. 
neat. You're just taking that piece up towards the neck there? Or? Yep, fold it up towards the head. We'll start laying these open. Scotty will start working up. Pretty soon you'll have them laid open like a book and then you just got to connect at the back, hang his head over the table, pull the hide over his head and start tubing his head out. Scotty will show you the ears and eye cuts. They can be, they can make or break a skinner. Amen. Jesse really put a hurting on this elbow, so you just got to make sure with this bruised hide you're not cutting through. Skin the bruises right off them. You ready? Just want to pick that up, Jesse. We connected the two sides. We just got to pick it up here, slide it under, spin its head. We'll. There's a fair amount of blood on the table now. Mm -hmm. um, do you want to? I, it's fine right now if it's not falling on this. What you got going on there, Scotty? <clears throat> well, I'm just skinning out an ear here. Um, we've come a little ways down there. We're not going to turn it all the way yet. Uh, we're just going to cut her off. Back June! Back here quite a ways. Hey! June. Leave it. There's, there's Back here. part of the eardrum, I believe. That's the anvil stirrup. All that bullshit. All that science bullshit. bullshit. And then you just kind of come back to the face and keep skinning down to the eye. Another eye. Down the lips here. I'm almost gone turn, but I'm going to go back to here and cut them off. Yeah. Jesus, but he like his main wound comes up like a meat like a wound. Who's with Chad? That's fucking sweet, Nate. Oh yeah, get that that's rolling on there. Skull there and yeah. down the nose. This is the nose we're easing off. You leave that for the taxidermist or you get back to it? Well, I could get back to it if I wanted, but we'll see. See you. Kinda wanna drink a dozen Same. pills in the night. Yep. Same so. with the lips. Lips, yeah, we're just easing around. See that tooth straight as an arrow. It doesn't have those imprint like those. Like it was those. after I boiled it, it did that. Oh, is it? Yeah. You know what I'm talking about, though? With those, it, like, rigid? rigid yeah. Well, no, like, this way. Like, it, it, if yeah. you grab it, it's got, like... I don't know if the two, like... This guy's... How old do you figure he is? Six or seven. We've been saying that on every cat, but they're probably all pretty close to the same age. That one looks to be about six mils. So. Yeah, let's rip her over one more time for the fans. And... and that's that. That's that.
Tied off. <clears throat> Crazy. Let's get the tape on this son of a bitch. Where would you hang them? You'd just be on the floor. Fifteen and a quarter. What's this? Ten foot ceilings in here? Yeah. Twelve. Must be. Yeah, yeah. Lay them out. You gotta keep going. We're running out of room. This living room ain't big enough. Holy moly! Jesus Christ. Oh, okay. Nine foot five. This, he's going buck. Any nine foot five cat goes buck. So you measure him from the very tippy top of his tail to the to his mouth? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Well, let's get this head off and Oh, Scotty. What? Nine and three eight? Nine, nine. and a quarter? Five sixteen. Five sixteens. Nine and five sixteens long. Get a piece of paper, maybe. This guy is going buck. Ten and five sixteens. Oh, nine. Oh, this guy's buck. We got a buck cat. Six and three sixteens. Six and three sixteens. So that's ten and eight sixteens. What did I tell you? Fifteen and a half. Yeah. Literally to the sixteenth. He's a book cat. Get it in the freezer. That's he won't book. even shrink a half inch. He's book. Not eat. We can leave him out. We'll put him in the microwave. <laughs> we don't care. Fucking first, man. book cat, boys. Right book on. cat. Yeah, and that's like right on the bone. Right on the bone. Well, you're not going to lose a half an inch, that's for sure. Maybe a, a sixteen. No, it's still three, six and three sixteenths. Fifteen and a half, I called that when we walked up. <laughs> Neato, gang. Book it. <sighs> nice. Nine five. And the hounds get to come back in for the night. That we're going to the hotel. We're going to the hotel. <laughs> the frozen men shooting book cats. Get them in a bag. Get them in the freezer. We don't want. To, we want frozen men in the books. Well, folks, just uh, Scotty just finished turning the head. Jesse's cat's all done, ready for the freezer. Went nine five, nose to tail, and uh, looks like he's gonna make buck fifteen and eight sixteenths. Fifteen's buck. He's got himself quite the cat here, but we'll show you how to finish it off, get it ready for the freezer. Jesse, if you want to grab half. You just want to fold it right in half, right down the middle. Flesh to flesh. And you're going to want to fold the legs in. Fold the head back. Grab that tail. And the nuts. The nuts are in it. Yeah, those are the nuts. Flip them up. Put them on the flesh. There you go. Pick that tail up, fold it in half once more. I'm gonna freeze them nice and flat in the freezer, so it can doesn't take th doesn't take three days to freeze, and it'll get a good freeze on it. Thaws faster, freezes faster. Taxidermists like it.